Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kitty, and today we have a special guest. My name is Wesley. I decided to have him on for this video just in case I need a little help. Um, he's more knowledgeable as well of some of the things that we're talking about today. Um, but this video is very important because I noticed there's a lot of people following a video that I made around two years ago. And it's a DIY uh, disinfectant wipes which contains vinegar as one of the ingredients. Today I learned something new. Um, again, that video was not made for the coronavirus. It is about two years old. A lot of my videos are prior to the coronavirus, so we can't really follow that. Today I came across this, and um, it says, the virus is not a living organism, but a protein molecule, molecule, which is like a DNA, or is a DNA? RNA. DNA. Yeah. Covered by a protective layer of lipid fat, which when absorbed by the cells of the ocular nasal or bu bu buccal, did I say that word, mucosa? Yeah. Changes their genetic code, mutation, and co convert, convert them into aggressor and multiplier cells. So I'm gonna read a little bit of this um, just because it's probably easier than to put screenshots up because that takes more time. So it says, since the virus is not a living organism but a protein molecule, it is not killed but decays on its own. The disintegration time depends on the temperature, humidity, and type of material where it lies. Um, so it says the virus is fragile. The only thing that protects it is a thin outer layer of fat. So any soap or detergent is the best remedy because of the foam. It cuts the fat. That is why you have to rub so much for 20 seconds or more when you're washing your hands to create foam. Um, so now I'm gonna go over a few things that it says that it does kill it or you know Ends its life, whatever. I don't know. They don't say it kills it. Yeah. But. All right So I'm gonna go over a few things that it says so heat melts fat That is why it is good to use water above 25 degrees Celsius for washing your hands So like warm to hot water when it comes to washing your hands your clothes and everything also alcohol or any mixture with alcohol that's at least 65% or more. Which the average rubbing alcohol starts at 70% um, and then you have like 90% and so on. Um, you can also mix one part bleach to five parts water. That directly dissolves the protein and it breaks down from it breaks it down from the inside. You can use oxygenated water. It helps long after the soap, alcohol, and chlorine because Peroxide dissolves the virus protein, but you have to use it pure and it hurts. Oh, no, it says, but you have to use it pure and it does hurt your skin. Yeah, so oxygenated water is basically hydrogen peroxide. That's basically what it is. Um, and hydro hydrogen peroxide, it does kill bacteria, all that stuff, but it also does take away bad bacteria, uh, good bacteria from your skin which is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. So in a pinch, yes, you can use hydrogen peroxide um, to sanitize your hands, but I wouldn't do it on an everyday basis because then it's gonna cause problems later on down the road. But it's perfectly safe to use it um, on an everyday basis, uh, cuts and scrapes and everything else. Okay, so let's continue. So it says no bactericide serves. Um, the virus is not a living organism like bacteria. They cannot kill what is not alive with antibiotics. By no, antho with antibiotics. Yeah. Antibiotics. Antibiotics. It says, but quickly disintegrates its structure with everything said. Here's another thing. Um, it says to never shake your clothing after you came home from wherever. It says. Never shake used or unused clothing, sheets or cloth. While it is glued to a porous surface, it is very inert and disintegrates only between three hours, fabric and porous. Four hours on copper because it is naturally antiseptic and wood because it removes all the moisture and 
does not let it peel off and disintegrates. 24 hours on cardboard, 42 hours on metal, and 72 hours on, on plastic. But if you shake it or use a feather duster, the virus molecules, listen to this part you guys, the virus molecules float in the air for up to three hours and can lodge in your nose. So like that, from what I understand, like even if you're out in public and somebody that's infected sneezes, it can float in the air for up to three hours. That's what I'm getting out of this. Also, I know a lot of people like to do same day delivery on Amazon and all these other websites, but if, it, if the bacteria, the virus, whatever, lives on cardboard for 24 hours and it's same day delivery, more than likely, if it was me, I would sanitize the package before bringing it into the house. Yeah. So it says, the virus molecules remain very stable in external cold or artificial as air conditioners in house and cars. They also need moisture to stay stable and especially darkness. Therefore, dehumidified, dry, warm, and bright environments will degrade it faster. UV light. So UV light on any object that may contain it breaks down the virus protein. For example, to disinfect and reuse a mask is perfect. Be careful, it also breaks down collagen, which is a protein in the skin, eventually causing wrinkles and skin cancer. The virus cannot go through healthy skin unless you have a cut like this guy here. How did you do that? Uh, working in the garden. I don't know if it was a stick or something in the ground as I was digging right into the hand. So it cannot go through healthy skin, but if you have cuts or anything, it can get through. Here is where we talk about vinegar. It says vinegar is not useful because it does not break down the protective layer of fat. So I feel like the DIY that I made two years ago that you, a lot of you are watching or watched, um, it has vinegar, it has Dawn dish soap, and it has alcohol and essential oil. So I feel like it'll work, but don't quote me on that. I'm not a scientist. I would probably remove the vinegar and just do like half alcohol, half water. You know, this, the recipe, just follow it, but change the vinegar for more alcohol. And um, make sure you have that Dawn dish soap in there because obviously the soap does um, break down the fat, the layer of fat that it has. No spirits nor vodka serve. The strongest vodka is 40% alcohol and you need 65% alcohol. Listerine, if it serves, it is 65% alcohol. Okay, so the more confined the space, the more concentration of the virus there can be. The more open or naturally ventilated, the less. This is said, but you have to wash your hands before and after touching mucosa, mucosa, whatever. Mucus. Yeah, it says mucosa. Food, locks, doorknobs, switches, remote control, cell phone, watches, computers, desks, TVs, etc. And when using the bathroom. You have to humidify hands dry from so much washing them because the molecules can hide in the micro cracks. The thicker the moisture, the better. Also keep your nails short so that the virus does not hide there. So again, um, if you can use Clorox bleach or whatever brand bleach to disinfect areas that you think might have the coronavirus on it, then use that. Use bleach, use um, alcohol. Like I would rather use pure alcohol. That's what I do. We put pure alcohol in a spray bottle and we disinfect our cell phones and stuff. I have something and I feel like this is gonna drive. Sorry you guys, I'm gonna turn it off. This is gonna, this is gonna cause everyone to go to the pet store right now. So the pet store does sell UV lights. So if you have a lamp and you put a UV light, uh, light bulb into it, it will kill bacteria, will kill the virus. So my suggestion is you can go to the pet store, get a UV light, set up a section right by your door and turn the light on Maybe put your, your shoes under it for you know 10, 15 minutes. You can put your clothes underneath of it for 10, 15 minutes. Are you sure about that time? 
I'm saying 10 to I mean, 15. Do 10 research. to 15 is, is overkill. I, I would do research. It's better to do 10, 15 minutes. Um, Always do research. I wouldn't put your cell phone or any electronics under it because it's probably going to heat it up really quick. Yeah. But it's just a little tip that you can do. So the moral of the story is <laughs> don't follow my old DIYs. I mean, you can for regular cleaning, like, you know, if you but know. Not for the virus. Not for the virus. For this specific virus. It works on other types of viruses, but not this one because it is not an actual live thing. It's a yeah. DNA. I, I can't explain it, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's what I got out of this. So, to every one of you, um, you're welcome to use that recipe for regular cleanings as long as you know that it's already sanitized. Like, you can do one thorough sanit. sanit Sanitization? How do you say it? Sa sanitization? Sanitation? Sa sanitize really Sanitation? good with bleach prior to anything and then just try and keep your areas clean. Like I've done in other videos, like as soon as you get home, go straight to shower, wash your hands or sanitize. Here's what I do. I've already said this, but if you haven't seen any of those videos, I like to come in through the door, spray down my phone all the way around with straight alcohol. And then I go take off my clothes, put in a hamper, shower. That's every time yep. you come home from out there. This is the entire world, you guys, not yep. just our area. This is what the entire, so wherever you're watching from, you should follow that. You know, always do not wear shoes in the house. Do not wear your regular clothes that you wore outside on your sofa or couch, whatever. Um, I just want to say right now we are at war with the China virus. Do you really have to do that right now? I'm not putting that in my video. You want to know why it's called I'm the China virus? I'm not putting that. Because it's from China. <laughs> China. Listen, don't offend people that are from China. Okay. Not on my channel. <laughs> okay. All right. So anyways. That is it for this video. I hope I covered everything that I wanted to say. I think that's basically it. There's other things that I want to talk about um, that I really need to talk about, but that's going to be another video and that'll probably be tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. So again, if you are new, don't forget to click that subscribe. If this video was helpful in any way, please give me the thumbs up. If you hate it, please give me the thumbs up. So I appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you guys on the next one. Love you guys.